Good morning, comrade subscribers. So I'm continuing on. I've got all the sockets in. I made a little mistake. I went ahead and put some headers in. Of course, these should be female sockets, not male pin headers. So I should be able to desolder those. Um, but yeah, I see sockets here in. For these other little three pin headers, I've just I've got these little switches. So I, I don't know. I just prefer to. Where are they? I got a whole bunch on. I think AliExpress. I've got right angle ones as well. So um, yeah, let's have a look. Da -da. So these are the right angle ones I've got. Oh, actually no, these are okay. So these are six pin. And <laughs> I'll get that one later. So this is one type I've got, tiny little things. Um, so obviously that's right angle. So they can uh, switch like that. Uh, but these ones here that I'm using are just um, just vertical. So instead of a three pin header, um, just put that in and you can just switch either one. So, you know. Obviously, if it's something that you're not going to change all the time, then just stick a header in and then uh, put a strap on it. But um, yeah, that's it. it's personal, personal preference. So I'll continue with this. Try and finish it off. Um, one thing to notice: I've just I'm using parts that I've got available. So this is just a plain, um, you know, plain socket. But I think it's supposed to be a barrel jack or something, so that when you plug it in. It disconnects, so you can only use one power source at a time or something. Well, I think if you plug this in, I, I don't, anyway, I'm not sure how it works. I would have preferred to use the, the USB because then obviously you don't need all this additional stuff here. Um, but, you know, it is what it is. So I'm just going to use that. I'm not going to plug that. I'm not going to put the, well, I might put that in later. But for now, it doesn't matter whether this is plugged in or that's plugged in because I've only got one. So nice and simple. I don't have to worry about running, um, you know, having two different supplies connected because I'm an idiot. <laughs> um, yeah, so let's say I've, got, I've noticed there's another 330 ohm resistor network down here for the um, status um, bar display, <laughs> bar graph display. So I'm going to try the Sovietsky style again. But I'm going to try and make it <laughs> a little better. It looks up looks a bit bit better. Uh, so I'm thinking I don't know. I think maybe the better way of doing it is perhaps um, do the first one and the last one. It's very bright orange. So do the first pin. Which way am I going? I'm going yeah that way. I have to probably chop that off and then do the last pin something I have to chop that off anyway so do it first and last like that I'm guessing so that we have this common bar in the middle and then do all the rest like that that might look a bit better um, so I was, I was thinking of maybe doing it on on a breadboard like this but I think I might just do it I probably should have done it before I put the switches in as well. So I put the first one in, put the last one in, and then do the rest. Something like that. I'll give that a try. Right, so I don't know. I don't know if this is going to turn out any better. But I've I've done the I've got the first one, and then the last one, and then I'll stick the rest in the middle and we'll see if that looks any better. If not, then I'll give up and just buy proper resistor networks. So I think I've got I've got a whole bunch of 10k ones already. I don't have 4.7 or 47k. I may have ordered them because uh, I need them for the Radio 86. Although, having said that, I should really do Sovietsky style for the radio as well, shouldn't I? Anyway, yeah, let's see how this turns out. Maybe a bit better. <laughs> I don't know. So I'll tidy it up at the end. But so what I'm doing is I'm just putting it in, soldering the top 
top bit and then I'll solder the bottom bit. Uh, solder the bottom bit with my dirty, <laughs> dirty soldering iron. I need to get new snips actually as well. They're just not at the front, they're not working properly at the tip. Right, so try the next one. So I've got to yep, yeah, make sure all the colours are in the right same direction. So just stick it, stick it in vertically, whack it over like that, spin it over under the bottom there. Be careful, you don't want to melt the plastic. And then, of course, this is going to be uh, give me problems. Just the one I'm de trying to demonstrate. <laughs> Something quick there. I don't know. Anyway, so I'll clean clean it up at the end. And then I'll just uh, do the bottom one. So I'll finish these off. Last two there. It's looking pretty good, I think. Anyway. And there we go, the end result. I think it looks a bit better. So anyway, there we go. So I will continue on with what I have. And, um, and so I'm leaving, obviously, all the IC chips until the end. So I don't want my grubby hands touching them and, and stuff until right at the end. Um, yeah, okay, yep, I'm doing it again. <laughs> oh, I'm gonna do all of them like this old school, Sovietski, almost done. Um, I think, uh, da, da, da. well, apart from I need to check what logic I've got, but um, otherwise, I'm a bit, yeah, I just need to get a couple more resistors. I don't have one of those diodes. I have to get one of that power monitoring or something. And um, bar graph. I do have, this is my collection. I do have, so I don't know if this is common anode or common cathode. So it's been a while. I don't know if these are common anode or common cathode. I have to check them up. But um, I've only got four of those. So I'm going to have to get some more. Uh, otherwise, just about there. I've got a I've got a four-way switch and a three-way switch. I have to order one of those. Bar graph LED. Um, yeah. Oh, and the four megahertz crystal. So yeah, getting there. All right. Good morning. It's uh, Wednesday morning. Back to work. So I'm going to leave it here for now. <clears throat> I think I've done just about everything I can do with what I've got. I have. Um, I've gone through, checked the ICs, I've added to my mouser order, because so I've got a mouser order waiting for the Radio 86RK. So I've added these missing ICs. Um, if you are gonna, if you do wanna get one of these when they come out, I probably recommend you um, ordering the 74C923, the 20 key encoder. Same as the original tech. Um, blah, blah, blah. So ordering one of those now, they're not um, they're not readily available, um, like at Mouser. So you can get them. I, I ordered one last night from Melbourne, fifteen dollars, because I know it'll get here within a week. Whereas you know you can obviously get them in China for a lot cheaper, uh, you know, a couple of dollars each if you want to wait two months. So order them now. Um, Unicorn Electronics in the US also have them, uh, ten dollars US each. Um, they don't charge you Jerry Harvey 10% tax. So if you're ordering anything else, I've just ordered some, um, uh, what were they? The, uh, 64256, oh, whatever the, the memory, memory DRAM for the IBM. So I've just ordered some of those from them. Yep. So there we go. So, um, I think I've made a pretty, pretty good start. All the transistors in I'm <laughs> too I don't know that resistor network oh. <laughs> so I'm gonna do that for all the resistor networks something different um, I think 
but uh, I, I do actually have this one is for you can see the um, I've got one of those somewhere that's been sitting around somewhere for ages I haven't used so yep yeah, there we go um, hopefully I'll get the remaining parts and continue on normally I would order them from element 14 because they're in Australia uh, Mouser comes from Singapore um, but um, yeah I think Mouser do actually have like when I tried to look for some of these parts on element 14 they didn't have them so um, you know there is a bomb and the bomb does have the Mouser part numbers and there's also JCAR for example so JCAR have some of these parts the bar graph LEDs I was thinking of maybe stealing these I promise I can't remember whether they're common anode or common cathode I assume that they are the same um, but yeah you can get them from JCAR as well so I'll probably look at doing that so there we go so let's see how we go